A search is underway this afternoon in Northern California. Police believe uh, there that a serial killer could be on the loose after five deaths have now been linked. ABC's Morgan Norwood has the surveillance image that police are asking people to look at as well as the investigation. Five murders, mounting fear, and a frantic search for a possible serial killer or killers. Stockton police say five recent deaths are part of a killing spree. At this time, we don't know if it's a person, two or three. We just don't know. Since July, police say five men between the ages of 21 and 54 have been gunned down on the streets of Stockton. According to police, they each happened under the cover of darkness. The victims ambushed, but no material things were taken. Only their lives. Police say all five cases are earmarked by specific evidence picked up at the crime scenes, but not revealing what that evidence is, only saying that the killer has a pattern and also saying that none of these incidents were drug or gang related. But they did release this image in hopes the public can identify this person of interest. He's tall with a slender build. The picture they say was taken near two of the crime scenes. 54 year old Lorenzo Lopez was one of the five killed. He was a musician who often lyrically illustrated the dangers of gun violence. His heartbroken brother says Renzo was homeless, but was on the cusp of breakthrough and putting his life back together. He spoke to our affiliate KXTV. It's hard to process that this has happened, you know. I mean, me and my brother have been like twins since we were kids. And then there's 35-year-old Paul Alexander, believed to be the first person killed. His family saying in a statement, he was a good boy who grew into a good man with a big heart. 80-year-old Eleanor lives in the neighborhood where Alexander was gunned down. Police are now warning people not to walk alone at night. There's more um, focus on it that I will have to be more careful. Authorities are also offering an $85,000 reward for information leading to the killer, also asking residents in that area to look at their own cameras for anything that might help in the investigation. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles.